My name is Tom Lanois. I'm a Flemish, Dutch, uh, a Belgian. Uh, and there's two books actually that I brought. There's one that uh, appeared recently. That's a very autobiographical book, Speechless, about my mother, a uh, wife of a butcher and amateur actress who had a stroke and lost her language, my mother tongue. So I write about her, my past, etc. And uh, the other book that's been out for a year now is Fortunate Slaves. It's totally something different. It's a good old doppelganger motif. It's two guys called Tony Hansen. Uh, the one is a total loser, the other one thinks he's not. And they, uh, the one starts off in uh, South America, Buenos Aires, as a toy boy of an old uh, Chinese woman. Uh, and the other one is uh, an escaped uh, computer specialist who, uh, at the beginning of the book, is in uh, a game resort in uh, South Africa. He's going to kill an animal there. And you have to re read the book why, and why they will meet one another in China the crucible of the future, and they will meet. And the, the fun thing is that, like in a, in a brochure, like in a play, you will have then it, and it was for me so fun writing. You have the one Tony saying something, so Tony says something, the other Tony says something, and the reader will know which one of the two is speaking at the moment. They need one another, and they hate one another. So, fortunate slaves. This is my first time in Edinburgh. It's the first translations in English. I'm very excited about it. And I'll, I'll ask him, uh, normally they shoot me after a, a couple of hours when I'm uh, reading. Uh, so I'll, I'll stick to the, what is it, 20 or 30 minutes. That'll be the big problem. Uh, and, but I'm so happy that uh, finally I can do it here and in English. I spend three months a year and in, in, the, in the second book, so in Fortune Slaves, there is a chapter that's a, a, a monologue totally uh, spoken by a South African. So uh, you will maybe every now and then notice a, a bit of an accent that's not so Belgian but South African. I hope so. So uh, I'll finally, after this, I, I won't say this is a rehearsal, but I'm now a virgin in English and then I'll, I'll uh, have readings in South Africa within a couple of months as well, in English, finally. And not only in Afrikaans, which, which I speak uh, quite well. Fabulous, no, any literary festival. I, I was surprised by Edinburgh. I've heard so many good things about it, namely my, my colleagues in theatre. I write a lot of theatre. So I was prepared and still it was a, a very, very pleasant shock. It's such a wonderful city. It's, um, and it mixes so many things. Uh, definitely not too British. Uh, and uh, this, no, it's, it's a wonderful city. We've been, been walking all day now. And so I definitely will come for the, I hope to come one day and present my, my plays as well, which is more difficult than books. You know what the, the saying is, eh? an English speaking person, it's easier, this, this is what people at the Frankfurter Buchmesse say, it's easier to sell a foreign car to a Japanese person than a foreign book to uh, an English speaking person, but I'll try my very best, not going to swear here.